This is a brief demo of my micro mosaic technique. So the first thing I want to show is the material and equipment uh, tools I use. So first is the polymer clay. I use Fimo Soft and um, it comes in these small packages or you can order a, a, a big packet. But um, the other thing we need is a bezel for you to do the mosaic in and it should be all finished. So no more soldering once you get the mosaic in there. Um, razor blade, uh, pin, anything kind of sharp will, will be fine. And um, a pair of fine tweezers. So that's basically all you need. And paper to work on and a pan to bake things in. Could be glass, it doesn't have to be a metal. So the first thing I do is um, to make the mosaic bits or tesserae. Um, so this is what I'm hoping in, uh, going to be making. The first part is to mix the clay. So here I have like small um, lumps of um, polymer clay that I'm going to just uh, mix together. So, um, so basically you just mix it together. If I'm mixing a large amount of clay, I would use the, you know, the whole part of my hand because the, um, the more you can warm the clay up, the faster it goes. So see, okay, so this is, um, this is already a, a, a done. Okay, so um, what I, I normally do is I make a whole bunch of slightly different color. So here's a whole oh, bunch of it. I'm done. So I'm going to pull um, small th uh, threads of this clay and we'll move everything away. And if you want to, you can tape the paper down with a very small lump and you just hand pull it. It's actually kind of a wiggling process. You just kind of start it initially and then um, can go a little bit faster. And you can have like various thicknesses, but usually I like it quite thin, especially if you're working in a small piece like that. So this part you can just hand, you know, pull in. See how I'm kind of separating it? So whatever works for you is fine. So basically you want it um, kind of a small diameter. Now, if you're making a bigger piece, you can leave the thread thicker. And sometimes I purposely leave part of it thick. So if I need um, a fatter piece of um, tesserae, then I have it already. So, um, so I'm setting it onto a tray And then I'm pulling this a little bit thinner. And it doesn't matter if it breaks into a, a short piece because eventually you'll be cutting it up, you know, into a tiny, um, tiny bit. So I'm just going to break it so it'll fit into this tray. So after a while, then you fill out the whole, um, fill the whole tray, and then you can bake it. So here's a tray that's um, all filled out, and you want to leave gaps between the uh, threads because if you don't, there and um, after baking, it will stick together. Okay. So um, 
So you keep doing until you're happy with the amount of threads you need. So, um, I already baked this, so I'm going to just show you. What you need is a razor blade. So you're just chopping it up like tiny um, green onions. That's quite a lot of threads if you think of um, the bezel is just this small, so that covers a huge amount of it. But um, you have lots left over to do more mosaics. So then you pour it into the box. So yeah, so I'm just making it a little bit easier to pour it in. Okay, so there you go. This is my box of threads. And um, so actually each time before I do a mosaic, I look at it and um, kind of figure out what colors I need. And if I'm, I'm low on a certain color, I'll make threads for that. And um, so I'm gonna start actually um, doing the mosaic part. Um, I already mixed some gray that's going to go sit in the bezel. So we need a little bit less. So, okay. So that's about how much you need. So. So the next thing you do is um, you sketch out the design. So I'm going to do um, a dog with a stick. And you, the pin is good for just lightly sketching out the design. And if you don't like what you're doing, you can just um, scratch it out. Um, I don't often have a design in front of me to, to, to do because the process is tedious enough that I don't want to do um, like um, to, to try and duplicate something. So something kind of um, um, really simple, and then you can always change it as you're working. But don't scratch it too deep in there, because when you place a thread in there, if it's too deep, it'll just drop into that um, trench. Okay, so um, I'm going to start actually putting the bits into the mosaic itself. So I'm going to start um, with the mosaic and I pulled out the colors that I'm going to use on this piece. And I'm going to just start from one end down and you can go, you know, whatever direction you want. There's really no um, um, one way to do it. The one thing that does help is if you're doing a light color, um, it's easier to have kind of a, a base. So here I'm going to, so the colors, I'm going to pour it out instead of trying to dig through this box. So I like having these um, plastic uh, acrylic containers that has the lid on it. So I'm just going to pour some of the colors out. Okay. 
and you can see there's like a variety of thicknesses, a variety of um, um, lengths. So this is also pretty light, so I'm going to set it over there. And um, I'm going to pull those out later as I need it. So first thing is I'm going to do these clouds over here. And um, I can tell I needed some pieces that has to be cut. So I'm going to cut them in diagonals. This is um, what I do is different from the Italian micro mosaics. Um, in the glass micro mosaic, they set the tiles vertically, which is even harder to do. I set mine um, horizontally. So I'm just cutting a few different size ones. Okay. So this is very um, exciting to watch, I can tell. So now you can see I set a few on there and then I kind of tap it so it's like flat down about the same height. Sometimes I can finish a piece this size in six hours, sometimes I can finish it in twice as long or even longer. Um, so, because sometimes I um, work on it and then I, I, I want to make changes or sometimes um, it takes me a long time to sketch the, uh, the image onto the clay and I keep changing it. So, you can never tell. So this is what I've got on done so far. That's a little bit of that cloud. So this is the um, finished piece. I will turn it over so you can actually see the uh, dot right inside up.